Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SolidBricks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at the filling tool in SolidWorks and discuss strategies for adding tricky and problematic fillets to models. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at manually creating fillets using some of the surface tools. So in previous examples, we took a look at what happens when filleting across the parting line, and sometimes the two fillets act don't come together correctly at the parting line when we use the split technique to control what the fillet looks like at the parting line. So here I'm going to show the variable fillet that's when added creates this little sliver. So depending on the manufacturing process this sliver may be okay. This is a sand cast part. The parting line is probably going to be ground anyway so this might be good enough but if I wanted to cl create really clean geometry and clean that up there's a way we can do that. So I'm going to suppress this feature and I'm going to now use the split line tool to outline areas uh, for the manual fillet. The first thing is a sketch that's created on the top plane and I've converted this edge and this edge into a sketch and then added a standard sketched fillet and defined its radius. This will be the top radius of the variable fillet. Next I'll need to create the sides of the variable fillet because we're going to be building a new face in this area that we're outlining. So here I have a sketch, it's just a straight line between this edge, or the vertice, and this vertice. Um, this play face is planar, so I could create the sketch directly on it. If the face was not planar, however, once again I could use the front construction plane with the project option on split line, and that would project that sketch on this face. Likewise, I would have to use the right plane for this face, but because this face is planar, I can put the sketch directly on that face. The last split line is used to define this split here. So I've just started a sketch on this face. I converted this edge into the sketch and used it to split. I now have an area that the fillet will be modeled using the boundary surface tool. You could also use surface loft here, I just prefer using boundary surface. So let's build this boundary surface from scratch. Clear these selections. In direction 1, I'm going to pick these two edges. Direction 2, I'm going to pick the top and the bottom edge. Note that I could also use, uh, I could switch, flip the selections, it's not entirely critical. Now I have these little flags here, and this top flag is set to none, and this bottom flag is set to none. We just want the surface to contact those edges. On these side ones though, we need to turn on tangency to face. This will ensure that the surface we're building is tangent to the surrounding faces. I click OK. We've now built that boundary surface. However, I now need to uh, add this surface to the model, and that's where surface knit comes in. So surface knit, I'm going to pick this main body that I deleted the faces from and this new surfaced fillet and I'll hit try to form solid. This will join the surfaces together and convert them into a solid body. If I wanted to use loft for this command, I could do that too. If I suppress the boundary surface, unsuppress the surface loft. Surface loft, the profiles are going to be the first edge and the second edge. The guide curves will be the top and the bottom edges of the fillet. Under start end constraints I need to set tangency to face and tangency to face and this will ensure that the fillet is tangent to uh, these flat faces. So that's using the surface loft. I'll just need to edit my knit feature here. Pick that loft. Unsuppress. Know what knit does. Before the knit I had a solid body at the bottom and a surface body, or the two surface bodies. Knit turns them into one surface or solid body. And finally, I use combine to put the two halves back together. So to recap, when adding fillets at the parting line, sometimes the two uh, edges of the fillets don't come together correctly. And so I'm using surface tools to outline this. I start with a sketch that defines the radius. I then use split line to outline the area for the fillet delete face to remove those faces from the model and either a boundary surface or a surface loft to complete the transition. 
Finally, I use surface knit to turn the surface body into a solid body and combine to put the two halves back together. So I hope you enjoyed this installment of Will It Fill It? Please follow the Damani Group on LinkedIn and YouTube. We'll be announcing new videos in the series.